Hello fellow crafters, welcome back to Mountain Sheep by Ruby. I know it's been a while, but summer hit and vacations and then a bunch of spring projects that I knew you wouldn't be interested in. So I'm back and today I am going to be trying to emboss uh, glass. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be trying, I'm going to be trying a lot of stuff. But one of them is Elmer's glue and maybe some oatmeal. I'm trying to think of, you know, when my kids leave their dishes in the sink and they don't put any water in them and what is really hard to get off. And oatmeal, definitely. So I'm gonna try that, but I'm also gonna try this plastic wood um, filler. I'm gonna try some Gorilla Glue silicone. And so I'm just gonna try different things and see which one I like the best. Uh, and then I'm going to do um, a project on glass. So stay tuned and let's get to crafting. Okay, after trying many things, I decided to go with the oatmeal and the Gorilla Glue sealant. And the reason why is because of the durability. I loved the texture and I felt like the oatmeal could give like a beachy vibe because it kind of looks like little shells. Um, but after I painted it, then it kind of became more mountain chic. So I thought this was awesome. And the nice thing is it took like 30 minutes, probably even less than 30 minutes. Awesome. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, at the end, you will see where I just left it on just clear glass. And then you'll also see where I painted it. Let me know which one you like the best. If you can find white letters or cream letters, that would work better. This is just what I had on hand that I got at the Dollar Tree um, because that way you're not going to be so worried about trying to cover up a color that, you're, that you don't want. This tacky glue was just another um, measure that I took to make sure that everything stuck together. Um, and so then after I did it on the letters, I thought, this kind of creates a neat little texture. And so I did it on the whole glass. Now for my mountain chic home up in the mountains, I tend to go towards these colors, but this project is so versatile. I think if you used like um, teals, blues, um, I think it would be such a great beach nautical type um, decor for you. So I love that you can do so much with this. But for me, I'm gonna sponge it on to give that texture and to make it look mountain chic. And as you can tell from my past videos, I do not like perfection when it comes to my decor. I think that's part of the mountain chic look. I like it to look like it's kind of chipping a little bit, that it's not perfect, that it's old. And so if you notice, these letters are perfect for that. They kind of look like, I mean, you can still tell it says love, but you're thinking this looks kind of old and maybe kind of chipping off a little bit. So it is perfect for my decor. Now, if this isn't the perfect mountain chic decor, I don't know what is. I love this. And again, it was so quick. So I'm going to be doing more of them. And I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, thanks for joining Mountain Chic by Ruby. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small